Okay, what is up guys? So today, we're gonna be putting a light bar on this Subaru. We just swapped the hoods, or we're still swapping right now. Uh, but we're gonna put the hood that was on this car, on this car, this is Grant's car. He owns the, they're both Grant's car actually. But he owns that WRX that we did the light bar install on. So we're gonna also be putting a light bar on this, because he's bringing this to the dunes this weekend. He's gonna send it. So yeah, let's get to work. swapped one of the bolts broke and we're not going to fix it right now because he had a latch right here that doesn't really work but it's all good we're going to send it uh i think we're going to put these on there here grant you want to mock this up all right yeah perfect yeah. so this is my old fiber works fenders just like so we got some 44s to put on this um here, here let's put it on there actually like we'll pop the hood and Will it fit? Oh, fit. perfect fit. Can you stretch it over there? Oh yeah, there we go. Dude. There we go, we got right. wide body Subaru. Okay guys, leave a like if you think we should actually wide body this like this. We will. We'll put my old fenders on this truck, or on this car. And we'll make them look decent. Wide body Subaru coming soon. Okay guys, honestly though, we will do this if you guys like the video. If we get... 50 likes on this video, we'll put these fenders on this car. 100%. We'll get some big fires in I got another fender too. We got a left one and we'll put it on. With some work, this could really be a thing. So let us know what you guys think. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and use this straight thing right here to mark out where we want the holes for the light bar. Because we're just putting it in the hood. It's going to be ugly for now, but we're going to come back later with a single row 20 inch light bar and we're going to put it right behind here and it'll be super clean. But for now, we're going to do this. We'll fix it. We'll bond all over it later, but we need it for the weekend. So let's go ahead, draw these lines and I'll catch back up to you guys when we have the holes drilled. Okay. So we just got it drilled in. As you guys can see, it's like really good. We got this right here. The, look how good that is. Like the wire goes right into the hood right here. Perfect size. It's perfectly centered and it's perfectly straight. Uh, we just gotta tighten it down to make it an angle exactly straight because it's a little flat. And yeah, then we'll run the wiring. And okay, so it's all bolted down here. Now we're gonna go ahead and run our wiring harness through the fender and then plug it in. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So this is super simple, guys. It's gonna run from the hood right here and then we'll run it over here and snake it down. So it looks clean. So yeah, let's go ahead. You should have it. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're almost, come on. You gotta put it in the hole. You might need some lube. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Right there, oh, you got me. You just lost four followers. <laughs> okay, so is that, do you have enough still? Oh, enough wire? It's not gonna go where I thought it would, okay. but it's so, fine. Because of that, we're gonna take this side of it and put it through because we need to make sure that the switch is in a nice spot. So let's pull that guy through. Shit. Pull it if you need to. You got a lot. You got a lot pull. Okay, that's all you can pull. Is that enough? So we got this mess of wiring down here. You guys want to make sure you leave all these wires loose in your car. Um, it's for safety. Yeah, no, it, that way the air can get past them and properly cool the open wiring. <laughs> so, when you're wiring your light bar in, you just go onto your battery terminal. There's normally an open like, bolt there. You just take it off. You connect your positive to the positive. And you normally want to put something over it. I like to at least or put a washer just to make sure you don't like over torque that top piece of the uh, light bar, because it's not that strong. And then you just torque this guy down. Okay, so now that we did that, we're gonna go ahead and hook up the ground. Normally you want your ground going to a ground on the car. You don't want to go into the battery, just to make sure it's properly grounded and you don't have any electrical issues. At least that's what I've read on the internet. And the internet's 
colors, right? So. And you want to make sure these bolts are here. They hold on your shock. You want to make sure they're loose for the dunes. Because you'll get a little bit more travel. You, get, you, you can jump way higher that way, too. Okay, so put that guy behind there. I'll put on the strap. So it has good ground. Just a good ground. And you always want to make sure you put the rusty bolts back in your car without cleaning them. Now you take this. And normally I would have done this before, but now I'm gonna undo all these wires and redo it. But you wanna make this go over here and like, or like down here somewhere and like just tuck it away. So it's like, looks good. So let's do that somehow. Negative goes to positive. So red goes to black like this. Then you put the black to the red. Whoa. It only works you with black to red and red to black, guys. That's how electricity flows. Wait, so the, hold on. I don't understand these light bars. So only the out ones even light up? No, the inside doesn't light up. You just can't see it. It's not bad. You wanna aim it up a little bit or? Actually, like right there. Right there. So there we go, light bar's on, it's all wired up. I think that took us, what, an hour? 30 Probably. minutes of actual work yeah. and then exactly. or BS. And 30 minutes BS, 30 minutes of actual work. So, it's easy guys, like if you don't have to make mounts, if you just drill it in the hood, it takes no, no time at all. So that's, the reason we drilled in this hood is, there's these janky uh, hood pin spots. Don't put hood pins in your car if you have a latch, there's just no point. And yeah, now we're gonna go get a flag and put a flag on this car because we need the flag for the dunes. So let's do that. Okay guys, we got the $300 car ready for this weekend. It's gonna go rally. We got our flag nice and on there. This is definitely nine feet tall. Right now we're just stopping down with some E85. So, yeah, E85 has been sitting for like a solid Six months, a little sketch, but it's all good. Let's go do some Jim Kama stuff, guys. This is my first time doing a hill start. This is not gonna go well. Please go green, please go green. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hey! Okay, I'm sorry for the crappy footage, but we got the hill start. Lit. Okay, so we're following the Subaru. He is vaping right now. Yeah, pretty sick. Okay guys, here's that Subaru that we did the light bar install on. Still looks good, still works, even with the Amazon light bar. We're gonna go take it for a rip right now, so. Good uh, Subaru rumble. Okay guys, we're just finishing up editing right now on this video. I realized I didn't put a outro in there. I'm sorry for slacking on the content lately. I actually have like five or six videos filmed, but it's finals week, or actually it's dead week this week, and it's finals week next week. So I'm gonna try to edit maybe another two videos today. And this video goes up today, and the other ones will go out, I think, uh, Tuesday and Thursday. Maybe I'll do Monday, Wednesday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Who knows? I might do a video every day. Uh, once it's summer next week, there probably will be videos every other day consistently. But, like I said, finals and stuff and hold me back. But right now it's a nice day out. I really want to go drive the M3 around, but we will see. Um, yeah. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.